Hey guys, welcome to another Talk To Me Tuesday. It is Tuesday, March uh, 30th. I have to look at my cheat sheet. Uh, 2010. This is Jennifer, also known as Ofen Jen, and this is a pretty special Talk To Me Tuesday for a couple of reasons. One, because um, on Sunday night I got back from my annual quilt retreat with my sewing circle and I had an amazing time, so I have some show and tell from that, but also because this is my 51st consecutive Talk To Me Tuesday. I've posted 51 of these babies, which means in one more week I will have done 52. That next week will be a whole year of Talk To Me Tuesday. Can you believe a whole year? Um, so I'm working on something special for next week. If it works out, I think it'll be pretty fun. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just post a regular Talk To Me Tuesday. But my sewing friends and I went down to Canyon Lake and stayed in a lake house that belongs to a friend of ours. And we do this every year. I think we decided this was the fifth year for this particular group. But I think it's the sixth year total. Um, anyway, so it was my fifth year. I didn't get to go the first year because we had a death in the family. We go... We go Thursday, we hit some quilt stores, we go out to eat, and then we head to the quilt uh, retreat house and we stay there, we don't leave, we sew from Thursday afternoon all the way through Sunday afternoon. We don't sleep a lot, we drink a lot of coffee, and we have a really good time. Um, it was amazing. We were very prolific this time around. I didn't take anything specific to work on, I just took a whole bunch of UFOs and a bunch of blocks that I'd gotten donated through uh, Log Cabins for Linus. And that's what I worked on. I worked on tons of stuff. Um, I threw a few things together that I didn't expect to work on and those were fun. I don't have as much to show you as I made because um, I think I pieced uh, three or four log cabin for Linus tops that all went to be quilted already. Um, I put borders on another three that um, Marge actually helped me with by taking off the original borders and then I worked on a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to show you the bunch of other stuff. And then I'll put some pictures at the end of the stuff that are the quilt tops that are off to be quilted. So the first thing I want to show you is a gift that my friend Shirley gave all of us. She made each of us a little humbug bag out of just gorgeous fabrics. And the one I got was Batik. And it's got a coordinating fabric on the inside. And inside are goodies from Retreat. I have some things that um, OC passed out. And I have some fabric that um, Hard Hat Cat, who is, you know, always awesome, sent some Australian fabric to share with my bee. So I passed those out while we were there. I made a Blue Bonnet Shop Hop uh, challenge block, which is actually due tomorrow. So I have to turn it in tomorrow morning when I go to work. Um, and I did this the last morning. This is um, a ladybug. I guess that's kind of obvious. This is the challenge fabric. It's a 12 and a half inch block. And it has little um, opposite cornerstones because yesterday when I was adding the antenna, um, I had an unfortunate snipping accident on this corner. It was snipping thread and I snipped the corner off. So I decided creative embellishment. Um, I made a pillowcase and I know it's shocking. I think I might keep this one for myself as a memento from um, Retreat because I bought this fabric. was all bought um, on the, in the quilt stores on the way to Retreat. And I fell in love with this fabric, which I'm surely called Funky Partridges. So I think this is going to be my pillowcase because I've never made myself one. And I have some more pillowcases in the works, but this one's special because I made it at retreat. So I think I'm going to keep this one. If you've been watching for a while, you remember when I used to sit on one side of my sewing room and you could see the whole back wall of my sewing room. And you probably have seen this guy before because he was hanging on my bulletin board for a really long time. I finally added the borders here. This is my uh, wingless worm pattern and uh, it's actually available, this pattern is available for sale on my Etsy. It's a um, 5 by 15 inch pattern and it comes in uh, one big file but it's three pieces and you put it all together and it makes this long center piece here. See, so that's the bottom seam, that's the top seam and I, I added three inch border. I also worked on uh, my Christmas cottage blocks, which um, I showed those off in the fall near getting near Christmas. I was in a Christmas cottage block swap on all about paper piecing. Um, and I finished piecing my top. And I'm probably going to insert a picture so you can see. But what I did was is I put the houses three 
houses by four houses because there were 12 houses and it just it didn't seem like enough so I went back in and I took I, I drew all these out I had taken my graph paper with me I drew um, these funky trees out and they're all different I made eight different trees they go on both sides of the houses um, I decided it needed some borders so this fabric I took for a totally different project and I decided that this really needed to go on this Christmas quilt because one of the blocks this block is the same fabric in red see the same fabric in red and this block I actually made because this was the back of Gareth's um, tails quilt and I feel like I need another border I have a whole bunch of triangles from the um, friendship triangle swap at honeybee so I might um, go ahead and put triangles all the way around this and then put another border of black I haven't decided yet I'm still pondering it I'm gonna let it um percolate in my brain and then I'll decide. I worked on a lot of the um, Log Heavens for Linus uh, blocks while I was there and uh, this is one that I finished that doesn't have its outside border yet so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys. This was a whole variety of blocks. These were all pretty much orphan blocks from other projects that people sent me and you can see they're all different. They're all very different and um, you know, you get, you collect blocks up to make a project, and especially if you do block exchanges or swaps, you end up with blocks that are either extra or too big or too small, and then maybe you just have too many and you make your project and you have a couple left. Well, that's what all these blocks are. These are extra blocks that people sent me. The last thing I want to show is something I worked on on and off all weekend. I showed these a couple weeks ago in my video called Something Old, and these were my granny's squares because these came from my granny's house and my mom gave them to me and what I did was is I actually they were in some of them were in rows and I actually took them all apart I took all the rows apart obviously kept the nine patches intact and what I did was is I, I ironed every single one you can see where you know I haven't picked all the thread out yet I ironed them all a couple of them needed repair these are all almost exactly six and a half inches and they vary by like maybe a quarter of an inch. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do since I took them all apart, like I said, I took them apart and I ironed every single one of them and I even got an ironing wound to show off because I caught the tip of the iron with the inside of my wrist, but it didn't hurt and it's getting better. So it's okay. So what I think I'm going to do is I want to take all of these. There's like a hundred, I think we counted 134. I want to take all these squares, most of which are hand pieced, and I just don't know what I want to do. If I want to do sashing or if I want to border each square. I'm thinking I want to use a solid color if I want to go and get, you know, a 30s vintage fabric or I actually have a 30s vintage, but I haven't laid it out on that. But there seem to be a lot of blues in here. So I thought about like a chambray or even a dark blue. But I could also do a muslin because there's a lot of color. There's a lot of print. And they're all they're all pretty much different and I think I could probably do um, like a muslin and have them all pop pretty nicely but they're all in good shape the fabric is good except for on like one or two and I'm thinking I want to make a, a quilt big enough for my bed because I, I love these they mean a lot to me I remember sewing from this box um, so that's it um, I love opinions on this if you guys have a suggestion for colors um, or fabric style to um, put these together, um, I, that's really means a lot to me and I want to do that pretty soon. And other than that, I'm pretty much done. I'll insert some pictures here and I will talk to you guys later. Look for one year of Talk To Me Tuesday next week. I'll talk to you later guys. Bye!